It's officially solar light season at Dollar Tree, and in this video, I'm sharing a ton of solar light hacks to help you light up your outdoor space on a budget. And we'll start with one of my favorite things to do with solar lights. Grab some of these wood planks from Dollar Tree, and you can paint them if you would like. I'm just giving them one coat of spray paint, but these are totally customizable. Use whatever color you want, and then pop off the top portion of the solar light. Add some glue to the middle of one of the wood planks. I'm using hot glue, but you can always use a more permanent glue if you would like, especially if you live in a hot climate, and then stick the solar light on top. You may have to hold the light in place for a little while until it stays by itself, but once the glue dries, you should have a nice hold and also a standalone mini solar light that can go just about anywhere. But my favorite place to put these are on the stairs. Now these do give off a decent amount of light, but if you want to kick this idea up a notch, grab a mirror. This one is from Dollar Tree. I just thought it looked nice. And you want to, again, glue the light in place using any adhesive of your choice. And these will actually appear brighter thanks to the light reflecting off of the mirror at night. So whichever version you choose, you can't go wrong. And what I love about this hack is it works with almost any kind of solar light out there. So if you prefer to use a higher quality solar light for this, that's always an option too. For this next hack, grab a canning jar and leave the jar ring in place, but remove the lid. And check this out, a standard Dollar Tree solar light should fit right on top. It's a super easy way to make a simple light, but let's take this idea a little further. Take your jar rings and paint them, again, whatever color you'd like. And while they're drying, pick up some numbered poster stickers and apply the numbers you need to the jars. I'm going with 314 as an example, and then screw the jar rings back in place. And finally, stick the solar lights on top and put this outside anywhere you need to have illuminated house numbers to make your address more visible. For this next idea, you'll want to cover the solar panel with painter's tape before you spray paint the top. This is for anyone who's ever wanted to customize the look of their solar lights. It's really easy to do. You just wanna make sure the solar panel is protected. And once the paint is dry, you can peel the tape off and the solar panel should be nice and clean. Next, grab the canning lids from the previous project and add some glue. And you probably know the drill by now, just place the light on top. Now I am using the canning lids from earlier, but even a jar lid would work well with this or a small mirror and these are going in my gold lantern so that's why I wanted to paint them gold. I wanted these to look nice and match the lanterns during the day and then of course illuminate the lanterns at night. Now these also fit inside of Dollar Tree cylinder vases and you can leave the glass clear if you want, but another option is to take some frosted glass spray paint and give the vases a light coat. A little bit goes a long way. And here's how the vases looked after they dried. And then here's how they looked at night with the light behind the frosted glass. It's now softer and has a beautiful glow. And speaking of a beautiful glow, Dollar Tree has these flame glow solar lights, and I love how these look at night. They have a flicker effect, so it looks like a candle is inside of it, and these look so nice in planters or just out in your yard in general. And just like the other Dollar Tree solar steak lights, the top portion can be pulled off and placed inside a lantern. And I did want to share a glueless option for a solar light stand. Just cut a piece of a pool noodle and the solar light fits right on top. And then you can just place this in a lantern or wherever you want. Now this next idea is for paper lanterns and you just want to grab some wire and create a shape like this. Then stick the solar light inside and twist the top to create a little hanger. And I promise this is really easy to do. I feel like it might look a little difficult, but it's really easy. And the hanger will go on the hook inside the paper lantern. So here's a closer look at that. And then your paper lantern will light up at night. So this is a great idea for a summer party. And these paper lanterns do come in all different colors. I really love how this pink one turned out. For this next hack, head to Dollar Tree's kitchen section and pick up a set of these prep bowls. You get four for $1.25. And I would also recommend picking up a permanent glue like this fix all adhesive. Add a tiny amount of glue to the top of the solar light like this and place it inside one of the bowls with the solar panel facing down. 
Next, add some glue around the rim of the bowl. I tried to keep the application light to prevent any of the glue from dripping down the sides. And then I placed another bowl on top. And this next step is really important. Let this sit overnight because this glue needs several hours to cure, but I promise your patience will pay off because this is what you'll be left with, a solar orb. And these look so cool. I made several and it's just another item you can place pretty much anywhere. But my favorite way to use these is as pathway markers. And because these are orbs, the light shines in a pretty circle around them. They are really bright. And yes, they can also go on your stairs too. Okay, so moving on to the next hack, and what you'll need is this four inch by six inch picture frame from Dollar Tree, and you'll want to make sure to remove the protective film. It's kind of hard to see, so some people might leave that on, and glue a solar light to the stand. And ideally, you would want to use a more permanent glue for this, but because I'm doing so many projects in this video, I opted for speed and convenience, but here's what you should be left with. At first, I was like, okay, here's another stair light idea. I do love making solar stair lights, but then I started realizing all the different ways you can use these. If you have chairs outside, put one of these on each arm to illuminate your outdoor seating. I love this idea, especially if you enjoy sitting around fire pits. You can make all of your chairs easy to see and easy to get to, or even take these on your next camping trip. They fit on the sides of tables, whether that's a picnic table or a side table like this, or how about the side of your outdoor grill or even your breaker box? There are just so many ideas for this hack. If you can think of any more, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, like I said, I do enjoy creating solar stair lights, but Dollar Tree has recently come out with some of their own. Just remember to manually turn them on, but they do look really nice for only $1.25. And another way you can use these is to take some command strips and apply the lights to different outdoor areas around your home. And get this, you can also use these Dollar Tree utility hangers as a way to put solar lights around your home. I'm going to spray paint this one just to make it all the same color, but that step is optional. And here's the cool part. The solar stake lights fit right into the hanger, and this does come with screws, but you can always just use command strips on the back. And keep in mind, you can also cut the hanger in half to have two solar light holders, but this is just a quick hack that I came up with when I saw these in one of my local stores. Now these are brand new solar lights at Dollar Tree this year, and they look great just placed in the ground, but I did want to share a quick hack. So grab a pack of shower curtain rings and paint them. I'm using a black spray paint to make sure these match the color of the solar light. And once the paint has dried, take a shower curtain ring and glue it to the top of the solar light. Now, again, I'm using hot glue. I would recommend a more permanent glue for this. And of course you want to make sure that you don't cover up too much of the solar panel. Then just hang them from some of Dollar Tree's planter hooks and you've got a really beautiful solar light setup that looks a lot more high end than just the steak lights. So if you know anything about Dollar Tree solar lights, you know they fit into anything a tapered candle fits into. So that's one easy way to create a single solar light stand or a lighted centerpiece for your outdoor table. Just stick these in some candle holders. Or another idea, if you see this jar in Dollar Tree, pick it up. The combination of the textured glass and the light sitting on top creates a gorgeous pattern on whatever surface it sits on. And while this is my favorite, there are endless amounts of items these solar lights fit into to or on top of, especially at Dollar Tree. And these also work with Dollar Tree broomsticks. All you have to do is take off the top portion of the broomstick like this. It's really easy to do and then stick the solar light into the top. Now, depending on how well it fits, you may have to use a little glue to give a more secure hold, but this is the easiest way to make a tall solar light stake for your outdoor space. Or I find this hack especially useful if you have large bushes around your home. And then I have to give a shout out to my brilliant friend, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses. She figured out that the solar lights fit onto wooden dowels, so that's another idea too. And Megan has a really awesome solar light video that she did. I'll be sure to link it down in the description box below. Solar lights will also fit into the top of different vases at Dollar Tree, and that's where you can get into some fun colors. Now, I did spot these vases at Dollar Tree, and I actually glued the solar light to the bottom of those and flipped them over to create this little setup, and these were so bright and so colorful. I just thought they looked really cute. 
Now, before I go, I did want to share some holiday inspired solar light ideas. If you see these jack-o'-lanterns at Dollar Tree this fall, pick some of those up. The solar light fits nicely on top. You can of course glue it in place if you would like. And this is the cutest little solar light on its own. I love Halloween so much. This makes me really happy. Or you can hang a few of them on some planter hangers like this. I plan on getting a house soon and I can already tell you, I am definitely doing this in October. And did you know, the solar lights will also fit into the top of these bell light shades that you can find at almost any home improvement store. I spotted this one and you can probably guess what I did with it, but of course, first things first, I did go ahead and put the solar light on top. You can see how well it fits. And then I added some little eyes using some vinyl, but you can always paint the eyes on, add a mouth to if you want, and then I placed him outside. And look how adorable, he's a little solar ghost that is ready to haunt your front porch. And for this idea, you'll want to grab a couple of bowls. I found this beautiful bowl in the party or catering section at Dollar Tree. And then I hot glued the two bowls together. And same thing I always say, use whatever kind of glue you would like, but hot glue does work well for this particular project. I just try to keep things neat so that there aren't any glue drips or strings of hot glue. And then of course you want to line up the bowls as best you can. Next, glue the solar light to the top of the bowl with the panel facing up. Then I picked up these wood rings and sprayed a couple of them gold. Next, I glued one to the top of the solar light, making sure not to cover up too much of the solar panel. And I did make two of these. They are gorgeous solar ornaments that you can use to decorate your front porch during Christmas time, but they are so pretty. They put a gorgeous pattern on the ground and I am just so happy with how these turned out. All right, guys, well, that's it. A bunch of different Dollar Tree solar light ideas. Hopefully this video has inspired you to light up your outdoor space on a budget. Let me know which idea was your favorite down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until my next one, I'll see you then.